Amazing people, how is it going over there? Uh, today, I want to share with you how you can calculate the volume of water in your fish tank, especially if you're using um, any type of pond anyways. If you're using 18 pond, tarpaulin pond, tanks, or concrete, or whichever method. Even if you're using uh, a nylon bag, you can still calculate the volume of water in your pond. Actually, I took this upon myself because a lot of people have shown interest in uh, getting a rate pump. And one of the questions I always pose to them is that uh, they should always furnish me with the volume of water they want to aerate so that I'll be able to uh, give them the appropriate aerator pump to use on their farm. And uh, that has supposed to be an Aquilian task to some. And um, the way out of that is that I wish to just show everybody whether you are buying the aerator pump or you just want to know the volume of water in your pond. So, in order to do that, you will need the length of your pond, you will need the breadth or otherwise called the width of your of your pond you will also need the depth the depth at is it depth i don't know you will need the the depth at which some people call it height but at which the water level is i hope you understand there's difference between you calculating the entire height of your pond what we need is the height of the water I hope you understand now. So, you get the three parameters, you will be able to calculate the volume. And as we all know, according to our primary school, uh, let me say basic mathematics, we already know the volume is always length times breadth times height or the depth. I hope you understand. So, if you are able to multiply the three parameters together, you'll be able to get the value in um, whichever one whether liters or but uh, the the straight method the straightest method of all is just for you to calculate the measure the uh, length the breadth and also the height in centimeter so that you'll be able to calculate it easily and uh, let's take for instance take a good look at this tank this white tank let's assume assumption let's assume the the height of the tank is um, 10 centimeter the length is 15 centimeter and also the breadth is 10 centimeter that makes 10 15 10 I, I hope you understand so you just multiply everything together that should be 10 times 15 times 10 length times breadth times height then the value you are getting is going to be cm cube that is 10 times 15 that is 150 times 10 that is 1500 cm cube I hope you got it to that level. Now, for you to convert CM cube to liters, you first convert CM cube to milliliter. And as we all know, one CM cube is equivalent to one milliliter. Now, 1000 milliliter is equivalent to um, one liter. So, Taking a good look at our answer, you know, initially we got 1,500 cm cube. So, and we all know that 1 cm cube is equivalent to 1 milliliter. Now, 1,000 milliliter is equivalent to 1 liter. And we already have 1,500 milliliter. So, that means that tank is measuring just 1.5 liters that is just assumption anyways 
I only came out with um, an assumption. So you have to calculate your own pond. You get the value. You know, the values are not fixed. So you, you measure your pond in order for you to get the liters. But that is just it. So if you derive value from watching this, smash the like button and also leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you have not subscribed before. And also feel free to share this video with any of your friends. You know I love you. Stay safe.